That's where the fisherman and his wife live. They have a small stall at the market. Nice people, actually. Even though they sometimes complain about the noise coming from our workshop at night. I mean, it's an inventor's workshop, after all. Do I get upset about their fish stinking? That's where the fisherman and his wife live. They have a small stall at the market. I often buy fresh fruit from Hernando. I wonder if something has happened to him. I haven't seen him since the day before yesterday, and the fruit is just rotting away in the heat. Aha! The basket seller is in town. That's fortunate. Hello. God be praised, Senor Inventor. You're still at large, then. <laughs> and why not, pray? I've done nothing wrong. I've heard otherwise. They say that you're working on an invention which lets a man walk across the skies. Those are fairy tales. Exactly. Only Jesus can do such things. And the church makes sure that nobody else tries to. Jesus could walk on water, not on air. So, by that, are you saying that Jesus couldn't have walked on air, even if he had wanted to? No, that's not what I'm saying. What does a basket cost? Three silver. So expensive. Oh, can we do a deal some other way? Hmm. If you could find some way of making it not quite so damned warm here, then I could let you have a basket for just one silver. Do you know anything about the fruit seller? The last time I saw him was the day before yesterday. I don't know what happened yesterday. I was out and about. Why is his stall unattended? Why is nobody looking after it? If anyone wants to buy anything, then they'd be welcome to pay me. Goodbye. May God's blessings be upon you. Do you sell oranges now? They aren't mine. They were sitting there when I got here this morning. Can I take one then? If you like. My dear Uncle Tabbit, a trader through and through. He travels a lot and is always on the lookout for quality goods and even better prices. Hey, Uncle Tabbit. Fyodor, how nice to see you. How are you? When did you arrive in Barcelona? This morning I'm feeling a little worn out from the journey. But business is good. And how are things with you? The last flying machine didn't fly too well again. The Count has set us a final deadline. Just take care, my boy. The Count is a dangerous man. He has church connections. You need to watch out. My brother is completely possessed by his Egyptian artifacts. He always was. He is definitely becoming a true history scholar. You've been prophesying that for years, but it doesn't lead to anything. He just buries himself deeper and deeper in his books and doesn't help me any more at all. Please don't keep on bringing him new things. But if he loves to busy himself with them... I need two bales of the thinnest leather that you have. I've still got a few bales of camel leather, but I can't hand them over to you just like that. They are very valuable. And you know that since the discovery of the new world, business has not been so good. How can that be? Most of our shipping is now on the Atlantic coast, not here on the Mediterranean anymore. Ramon reckons that you've definitely brought something for him again. Yes, quite correct. Look. A valuable piece of crystal. Whatever you do, don't drop it. Hmm. What's that supposed to be? Looks like half of it's missing. Yes, there must be other parts that belong with it. But I'm sure Ramon will like it all the same. See you later. Yes. Till then, my boy. A couple of dusty stone figures. No one wants them. They really do look quite worthless. Uncle Tabbit? Yes, my boy?
These stone figures have also been on your shelves for some time now, haven't they? Yes. They're ugly, aren't they? Nobody wants them. And they keep looking at me like they're laughing. People don't want things made of stone. They want gold. See you later. Yes. Till then, my boy. Here, that's the artifact that Tabit brought for you. Fantastic! Show me! Thank you. So, what is it actually? A piece of crystal. It belongs to something that's made up of lots of fragments like it. Well then, best of luck with your investigations. I'll be off then. Mmm. Take a couple of copper coins. A pinch of calamine. Exactly. Right in the middle of the embers, and soon the heat will be increased a little bit. Now the forge can be heated up. A forge, just like you'd find in a smith's workshop, with an in... I'll close the oven first, otherwise too much air will get into the metal. I'll take the hose with me. Perhaps I should connect the bellows to the forge first. A forge, just like... Ow! Hot! It was a fantastic idea to cover the stone figures with brass. They look really precious. Tabit will be delighted.
Uncle Tabith? Yes, my boy? I've covered your figures with brass. Look at them now. They look like they're made of gold. Superb. Now I can really take, uh, ask a good price for them. Thank you, Fyodor. About the camel leather. Take it with you. The money from the gold figures will no doubt pay for it. Thank you. I thank you. Here, take a silver coin and buy something nice for yourself. Maybe some flowers for your girlfriend? Uncle, thanks. See you later. Yes. Till then, my boy. 